This is Twit. A uh, retro browser time machine. Uh, it's free in the Google Play Store. And uh, Jason, if you want to boot it up, it is a browser that searches, uh, that gives you how web pages looked per a certain date and oh time. Oh, my God. And it taps into the Wayback Machine as well as to some other archive, internet archive stuff, um, but is full of fun little little surprises. So if you look here on that main page, you're looking at Google on how Google looked, I believe, on the date is 2005, right? So what you can do is uh, you can just go into the, the search bar, and when you tap into the search bar um, – not the search bar, I'm sorry, the URL bar above where it says google.com. So what it will do is it will show you the date that it's searching close to, so December 28, <laughs> 2005. And it will also show you the pages that were popular that day if you want to see other things. But we could change the date. Let's change the date there, Jason. Let's So hit change, and then it pulls up the calendar. And so let's just, let's just go like – let's just go like f- forward in time to, tw- 20, to 2008, let's just say. Okay. Okay. Any day in 2008. All right. February All right. 1st. And let's let's take a look at twit.tv. Let's see what twit.tv looked like. Okay. So do I just go up here? Now, you, now just go up there and, and type in the – yeah, so you can just delete all that. It just works like any other browser. Twit.tv. So, so now it might not find the exact date you entered, but it will find the date closest to it, right? Okay. It's and loading. And there it is. And so now the thing is with some of these things, it's it's dealing with cached versions. Yeah. So quite often you run into situations where CSS wasn't saved or things like this. So you're going to see wonky stuff. But this is what was going on in 2008 on Twit, which is pretty cool. Um, right? <laughs> um, that's pretty neat, right? Jumping Monkeys um, was a show net at night. Yeah. yeah. So. cast. Good times. Wow. Um, I so sh- un- what else can I uh, search? Now what's neat, so you can do all the searching, but this is where it gets crazier. Hit the settings icon in the upper left-hand corner, Jason. So unfortunately, this um, this this app is app this uh, app is ad supported. So there's no way to donate to turn off the ads. So you can see down at the bottom, are they cheating it's in our phone? High that's, quality. That's, just an, that's ad. an ad. So ignore that. <laughs> but here you can set the home page for when you open it up to whatever page you want it to open to. But if you tap theme, you can switch from default to the Win 95 theme. Here we and go. Now hit hit save changes. Oh, save you're gonna save the changes. Okay. You're gonna see an ad. Unfortunately, sorry about that. <laughs> and so now, if you notice, the Chrome of the browser has changed to a Windows 95 Internet Explorer browser, which I feel like that just takes the cake. There you go. <laughs> so, um, so go into the browser bar and let's let's change let's change the URL. Let's change the date again. Let's go let's go to um, uh, let's go back to 2002. Oh, what boy. do you say? Let's go way back. All right, so right? let's go 2002. Let's go to StarWars.com. Okay. Okay. Give me a second. Star Wars. Dot com. No idea if it was. I'm, I'm thinking this is a Ooh. big media site. I think like, I remember what it used to look like. Um, it's it was loading in my see. Windows 95. And there it is. Wow. Prequel glory. Star Wars <laughs> news. Hayden and Nat in the MTV Movie House. <laughs> so pretty much if any website was saved at any point and at least in the Wayback Machine, I don't know what other services. When when I looked into this app, they said they use other caching services over the years. Wayback Machine is the one that we all know about we played with before, and this is essentially just another way to integrate with the, uh, with the Wayback Machine. Um, but – uh, they might be tapping into some other th- uh, services. This is not hosted by Star Wars. This is a cached version. So again, you might run into some weirdness. But if you want to revisit what the web looked like before, oh, I don't know, things we oh, take for granted like JavaScript and Ajax and like and 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 and, and, and all other sorts of web technologies, uh, yeah. you can see when when rollovers were a big deal. Um, if nice. you hit the drop down menu, you can see what else was popular in 2002. My Excite start page, Lycos. Lycos. <laughs> so I think I remember Lycos just a little bit. Oh man, yep. this was. Yep, this is the way the web looked. Fun times, fun times. So if I you want to revisit, if, if you want to revisit the web, you can go to Retro Browser Time Machine, and you can make it look like it's from the '90s, and you can go look at the internet from the '90s as well too. So there it is. I guess if I'm on a Windows 95, I should go to AOL. Yeah, just see what's going on there. Yeah, just want to hop into AOL and 
That doesn't look like much. Kill some time. Yeah, apparently I'm done. Welcome to AOL Anywhere. Oh, well. So. <laughs> oh, well, uh, that's awesome. It's called Retro Browser Time Machine. Yep. Love Fun it. stuff. That's great. I wish they gave an option for removing the ad. That would make it even better. Yeah, I, ho I wish they would because I also want to support our devs. I want to yep. throw money. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so. yep.